All right, guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change out this uh, faucet right here. All right, so the first thing you need to do is go ahead and clean off your sink. Um, and then clean underneath the sink as well. Get, get it so you have plenty of room. The next thing you're going to want to do is find your shutoff valves and shut off your water. And hopefully yours don't leak like mine just did. My second one is down here. We'll go ahead and turn that one off too. So it looks like they only leak when you when you turn them. I'm gonna have to replace those at some point. Okay, so the next thing after you shut your valves or your water off is you're gonna want to drain all the water. And make sure it's off. Which apparently mine's not off all the way. So let's see. The hot water's all the way off, so it's the cold. Let's see if I can't turn it cold anymore and get it off. Alright, so we relieved all the pressure and we got the water off. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and remove your, your supply line here. Which should just be able to unscrew. get the supply line off, you may want to have a uh, basin wrench like this. To have something ready to catch the water in case there is any left over. This side should actually be a little easier for me because I can get in here. Alright, so now that I got the supply lines disconnected, I'm just going to take these two uh, nuts here off. All right, now that that's disconnected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this V-slot here and push it, and I'm going to remove it off the pipe there so that that's completely separated, just like that. Alright, so this is now separated. And now you can just lift the sink right out. Just 
Just like that. Now we got to clean that up. All right, so I just went and grabbed a green scratch pad. I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. Get it all nice and clean. the new sink right there or the new faucet all we got to do we gotta take these two cups off we're gonna take these two nuts off down through the hole. Now we're just going to take it and slide it right down the, the holes here. All we're going to do is go ahead and position it. Put on our caps, or our nuts here. Just want to come up. Before you get it nice and tight, make sure that's where you want it. I'm going to pull it all the way to the front as much as I can. That looks good there. Make sure the seal underneath is good. And then we're just going to tighten these down. Make sure the sink don't move. Oh yeah, that's good. And we take this part. I'm just gonna slide it right up until it clicks. Once we get this clipped on, in order to get above the pipe, we're going to have to clip it here. So we're going to go ahead and release this and clip it at the third hole. Continue on. I'm just going to go ahead and reattach my water lines.
There we go. Most times you just got to go hand tight with these. Just snug them up really good. Just to make sure they're not going to leak on you. Alright, there we go. Make sure I turn the water off here. Actually, you know what? We'll leave it on for a second. That's fine. I'm going to take off the aerator. And now we're going to turn the water on and check for leaks. Turn it off. It's leaking up top, so that one's leaking. We'll have to fix that. Right, I'm starting to wonder if it's the hose that was leaking. Let's wipe this hose down. Ah, it looks like it's my supply lines leaking. It's just the cold lines leaking. So, let's see if we can't tighten the cold up a little bit more. The rubber gasket that was in the, the supply line came out. So, I just replaced that. We'll screw it back in and see what happens. All right, that's as tight as I can get it. What we're going to do to test this, I'm actually going to turn on, because I've got the hot water running, I'm going to turn the cold water on the faucet. And nothing's leaking, so that's all good. So now, like we said before, we're just going to flush this out. Oh, we got to turn the cold water on now. See if we got any leaks. This leaks every time I turn it, so I'm just gonna dry that off. I'm gonna have to replace those soon. I just don't have them here, so I'm not gonna do it right now. Everything else looks good. There's no leaks. Now we got a new faucet in. We're gonna go ahead and put the Trainer thing back in. Uh, it's much better. And no leaks. Looks good. All right, now we're going to change this part out. Do that is we need to take this nut we need to take this nut right here off
turn it the right way. All right, so now I've got to get this ring off. So I'm just going to take my pliers like this and turn it a little bit. And now that it's broke, I think I can do it by hand. So we got that removed and that removed. Yay! Holy crap! What we're gonna do is we're gonna use some plumber's putty. Take some in our hands, warm it up, make a snake with it. And then we're going to go around. Is that clay? No, it's plumber's clay. Alright. And then we're going to stick it in the hole. And just push it down a little bit. Back under the sink. Gonna take. We're gonna take the nut and the washer. Slide that over. Actually, I'm gonna go clean this up with a knife real quick. Be right back. All right. So I just slide that on. I'm just gonna slide that up. Then we're just going to slide it up through the hole, pop that into place, Thank you. 
then we're gonna tighten this up. Right here, I'm going to slide up the uh, thing to operate the thing. As you can see up front, some of the plumber's putty is being squeezed out. We're just going to drop the stopper in there. From this side, I'm going to go through the So we're just going to tighten this down now. Now I flipped over the washer here so it's facing down. I'm going to slide that into the pipe. And then we're going to tighten this down. That's just going to be hand tightened as well. Alright, so now if we take a look on the inside, a lot of the plumber's putty has come out. So we're just going to go ahead and remove all the excess plumber's putty. Well guys, thanks a lot for coming along with us today. That's all done. I'm going to let that dry for a little while and then we'll check for leaks. And Again, thanks for coming along. Click that subscribe button. Have a great day, guys. Bye.